I'm Roger and welcome to the shop. What I'm doing today is putting the lift called the lifter right here from uh, papasworkshop.org. No, I am not sponsored by them. I was not get this was not given to me. I bought this myself uh, with shipping and tax. It was forty three dollars and fifty one cents. And what this does is in the past year when I've gone the uh, when I'm doing internal cuts, I need to lift my blade to put the piece on. I would use this little piece of wood here. I got a little block of wood on as a handle. Just prop that under there till I got done, and then I would take this back out. What this does is, once you lift it, there's a little catch there. It catches. You do your, you put your piece back on. You push a little release. Uh, comes with a complete set of directions here. There's the uh, invoice, packing list, and comes with directions. So I am going to uh, keep the camera running while I'm doing this and add any comments that I need to put in there as I put it together. So I'll get the camera repositioned here, grab some tools, and we'll get with this. Shouldn't take long. Okay, got the camera over here and kind of zoomed in. <clears throat> uh, instructions are very clear and very concise. It's, it's well written. Uh, some of the things you'll need if you're doing this, and by the way, this is a DeWalt DW788 scroll saw. I don't know if he makes these uh, lift kits for other scroll saws or not. You'd have to look on his website, which is uh, Papa's Work Workshop. Oh, try that again. Papa'sWorkshop.org right there at the top and there's the email address as well uh, some of the things you'll need you'll need a three millimeter hex a five millimeter hex a five sixteenths drill bit and a T25 Torx or star bit whichever you want to call it uh, which incidentally uh, if you for the those of us on this side of the pond uh, in the United States that uh, don't work a whole lot with metric. When you do need something metric, you need it. This is a real slick little kit here, and I'm not advertising this really for Makita. I'm just pointing it out. Uh, drill bits, hex runners, uh, hex bits, Torx bits, even uh, masonry bits, brad point bits, all in metric. Uh, comes in a nice little plastic case, not expensive. Nice to have when you're uh, working with something that is metric and if you've gone and tried to find a metric drill index you may have found that it's been a little bit of a challenge so uh, this is a nice little kit um, everything fits in there well I could just keep all my metric stuff together and put it in the toolbox drawer when I need it pull it out like today okay getting back to this the first thing I need to do is remove this plastic cover because I'll need to drill a hole right here and discover there's two methods you can use one is to cut a notch um, the other is to drill a hole and I think the hole will look better than a notch so I will get this removed Of course, the uh, switch and everything is attached to it. But I think if we're careful here, what we need to do is measure over one and a half inches according to the directions. And we need to measure up. Yep, and the same center, which looks to be a quarter inch. Mm 
need about three hands for this. <clears throat> I say to put a little block of wood behind it and there's a little block of wood. That was simple. I think the theory is that that will, yep, lines up perfect with where that screw is that I'm going to be taking out. Of course, it's hard to see which. Okay, that's still a Torx. <clears throat> so now I can put this part back on. I'm using a drill instead of an impact so that I don't uh, get carried away with driving screws in. We want them tight, we don't want them torqued or stripped or broken. Okay, next we want to install the shoulder bolt into that hole. Just like that. Okay, if you look back towards the back here, there's two bolts right there. We're going to be taking those out and putting these replacement bolts in place of them. And for that, it looks that we'll be using the T25 Torx. The nuts here are captive. But... These are nylock nuts, so I'll have to grab me a wrench here to hold those. And on the other side is a 5 millimeter hex, which I'll be using right here. That's 10 millimeter. Yeah, you got to keep a good hold of the drill. Okay, that's all there is to it. So now when you lift this, it catches just like that and releases. And it works, uh, I mean, I haven't used it yet in actual cutting here, but I, I think I'm going to love the way this works. You just pick it up and it catches. Pick it up and it catches. So, loving it. Okay, as uh, they used to say in the old Staples commercials, uh, that was easy. Uh, not a whole lot to it. Very simple install. Great addition to the scroll saw. Once again, this is made for the DeWalt DW788. Uh, I don't know if he makes it for the Excalibur or the Delta or Porter Cable or any of the other models. Uh, you'd have to go on his website and look, which again is Papa's Workshop. Dot org and once again I'm not sponsored by him or anything I bought this this wasn't given to me uh, just something I saw as a great addition and one of the workshop videos that I watched uh, said very simple 
pick it up. When you're ready to let it back down, just pull this little lever. You're back down, you're back in business. So uh, overall, I think it's a great addition to the scroll saw when you have to make a lot of changes, when you're doing inside cuts and some front work. This will be just an absolutely fantastic addition. Big time saver. Okay, uh, if you got anything out of that, we'd appreciate getting a thumbs up. And of course, we're always looking for subscribers. Otherwise, I'm Roger, and we'll see you on the next video.